Hey there, welcome to your reading. Make sure you support your readings to get the longer readings or bonus content and the basically a message at least every week. Shorts are going out every other day, so there's advice and predictions in those. And check your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. Let me know the content you like. There's also timeless readings and there's also daily, weekly guidance and love readings. So whatever you like, please do let me know. And let's see what we've got coming in for you the next 10 days. There is a future prediction in that. Sometimes someone's already in the energy. There is abundance for you that I feel. There's also something of the past tying up right now. Let's get into your tower and see general and then we'll look at love. messages here we've got the tower and we've got the world card so there's a completion coming in and the completion is about whoop, is about what you've actually been waiting for what you've actually been working towards you know maybe you've felt it quite stagnant and stalemate and you've been really really patient and that patience i believe is actually something that's been part of your growth it's had to be part of your growth sagittarius energy very strong energy and presence harmonizing the yin and yang and maybe it's been around trying to see where you need to be in yin and tempering that yang or opposite but i feel like it's what i just said but the tower is really where you've been working towards wanting a change of a chapter closing the cycle and i feel like it's taken some time and the three of wands is this is the moment where it's coming in you have been and you are protected by mark uh, archangel michael mark mark angel i was going to say because michael was coming <laughs> Michael was coming before the arc. <laughs> what else do we have? This is supposed to be career, money and finance at first. Yeah, where you've been trying to juggle and um, prioritise in life. And for some of you, I feel like it's prioritising juggling the yin and the yang. And also your mindset, I feel. Like your energy and your mindset. I feel that... If some of you have been in stalemate and you re are relating to that, it's where you've been had to really juggle and temper your energy and your emotions. And for some of you, it's about prioritizing your work-life balance along with your private life, your ten of cups, what you want in terms of your love life, your family life, if you're already in a family situation. Two of Swords is where you've not been able to see clearly and you've been held back. There's been very, there's been a few decisions or a decision that you've had to make that's been very challenging. And you could be having to make that decision right now where you really need to overcome also hurt and betrayal of the past or where you feel like things have not been working out for you, where there's fear, where there might be resentment, okay? Like I said, there's abundance here. There is a change. I do feel that. There you go. There's the recognition. If some of you have been working on something really being put out there, um, maybe a developing a platform, maybe a, a large project or delivering at a conference, um, you have been, um, you will be getting the recognition, okay? Um, for some of you, this could also be around your family dynamics. I do feel like 2018 or 2008 uh, might mean something to you, something of the past. Something around that year, what does it mean to you? You can let me know. Um, I also feel, although it's not present here, I feel that there's also maybe Capricorn and um, Scorpio energy, maybe Gemini energy as well. 
Um, these are people that are energies that may be from the past to come in or just in general around you. Um, you might be feeling right now the reality of what might have happened in 2008 or something around that age. Um, you know, there could be something even around your 16, 17, 15 or early 20s. Um, something happened and you're feeling that right now or you will do after you know, sort of um, tuning into this read. It might have helped you with a sense of uh, self even. There's a journey you've started and maybe your question, why should I continue? Because it's just not kicked off. Well, here's the cards that I told you. And I said that, you know, there's some form of healing that's needed to happen around your career, money and finance. And you have been doing that. And I think this is why the tower is now Time to shift the energy, we're on a go now, things are coming in. You've done the healing that we've needed you to do. It might be around your family dynamics, which is then also, you know, why you've had to slow down around your career, money and finances. Some of you might have had multiple choices along the way, but they've not really been the right choice around your career, money and finances. I do feel like there's been inner conflict and external conflict around you and it's about the judgment call that you've had about past what you're worthy and deserving of nine of cups also shows up of that, of that and look moving forward time around your career money and finance a beautiful reading here so you'll have to let me know how this actually resonates and now we're going to look at uh, love and if you're not interested in love stick around there might be messages for you and your partner it might be singles and also there's going to be either oracle or spirit animal okay if you're a subscriber let me know i will shuffle but it's just making sure we've got everything shuffled well I won't mind that Ten of Cups coming back out in love. The lovers and some hot passion, what do you think? So if you're in a relationship, if you're single, if you're partnered, if you're separated, the message will be for those that need to hear it right now. Make sure you check your last weekly read or your monthly as well. That will be valid as there will be an overlap. And if there's a bonus, sometimes it's good to revisit it and definitely support your readings. So let's look at love. It's always got to be something that falls on the floor, right? And then hopefully you're not too challenging to pick up. Oh, the tower again. What are we doing? And look, this is Sagittarius energy at the bottom of the deck again. I knew that there was going to be passion coming through. Very strong reading for you. Emperor. I think this is what fell on the floor. Five of Pentacles. Tower. The Knight of Wands, the High Priestess, and this is the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with a masculine, divine masculine energy, or if you're a masculine, you could have been dealing or have Aries placements. If you're a feminine, um, if you're a feminine, not if you're a masculine. Yes, if you're a masculine, you could you could have Aries placements or be dealing with an Aries. Regardless if you're feminine or masculine, okay? This is someone who has been left out in the cold, okay? Um, and now there's a shift in the energy. And now that the energy has shifted, and I believe what they've done is listened more to their intuition. Place it if you need to place it for you. And they're rushing forward. No, no, no. I think some of it was woe is me kind of energy or very very stubborn i'm also getting the word hot-headed really stubborn and just sitting 
uh, they're you know sort of that they're the emperor whether you're masculine or feminine um, and so then you realize either some of you it could be if you're in a relationship um, what's caused a bit of a tower is probably financial discussion financial um, issues you know maybe sort of that pressure has caused a bit of a tower in the relationship what's interesting we've got four and five we've got the stability and then we've got the change the sort of shake and then the tower comes in and then there's a rushing forward and there's a listening to the divine um, high priestess energy nine of cups understanding that if you hurt or you've been hurt by someone and you've had to take time out from each other you could also be dealing with a Virgo or Virgo in your chart, Pisces in your chart. That the universe is stepping in, I think, to ease a burden in your relationship or in your separation or in your love life. Really for you to recognize after a period of healing and isolation as well. And if this is isolation and burdens of the relationship or the separation, that you are loved that you are enough regardless of how maybe you were feeling i feel the tower was a bit unexpected like the the outcome of the tower whether it was the end at that time was somebody was very quick and not listening to their intuition in making a decision maybe to end it and now it's the case of i'm tapping into my emotions and my high priestess my intuition and I really need to bring in this partnership back into balance. This is my soulmate. This is my divine counterpart. And the universe, I think, is going to help step in here. Especially if you've been in a situation in your love life, if you're partnered and it's just not been going well. It's really... Um, What can I say? You know, it's been, like I said, there's been some, you know, what's the word? There's a word that wants to come through. There's been some sensitive, but that's not the word, and triggering discussion or, you know, something that's caused someone to feel a bit more insecure and really react in a way that they could have reacted a lot better. Okay. Um, reacted from their mind impulsively as opposed to grounding their emotions and their intuition and it helped, felt like a heavy burden maybe finances in the relationship at the moment and during this time has been a heavy burden maybe if you've had a separation it's been about that some of you could have also during this time not felt really very well okay maybe cold or flu but there's a balance and harmonizing of a relationship if you're single this has been your healing journey and now that you're grounded and whole you're calling in your soulmate as i say that the page of cups comes in if you're in separation or you are in a relationship there is going to be the new person coming towards you if you're single this person might try to just express a little bit of emotion but they really do find you attractive and actually they're very, very good looking and attractive. So it's quite passionate energy. And there's a new chapter. You could be dealing with their Aries, Leo and Sagittarius energy. They could be a cusper. You could also be dealing with an, uh, uh, there's very strong Aries here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. The Cancer Scorpio Pisces in their charts. Um, if this is a reconciliation, I feel like either you, I think it might be a person, is coming forward with a little apology. I say little because I think they want to test how can they move the new chapter forward. They should come through with a King of Cups energy where they just put their, you know, all their emotions and explain stuff. But I think they're not able to do that because they recognize they were very impulsive and just a bit of a twat <laughs> or if you did this you didn't do it in the best way okay 
Now, if you're in a relationship and it's been a bit sticky, icky, um, and it's been a bit painful because you're not on the same, you're not harmonized like you used to be, you're feeling that energetic distance, even though you might be still physically together, um, that new chapter of love is coming in. It's the end of the old chapter, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It comes in, it brings that Wheel of Fortune into balance. To balance the end and the rebirth of a new chapter. Where you felt things are not turning, they've taken some time maybe to turn. Um, but that Wheel of Fortune will be in the upright. It's been in reverse. Seven of Wands, someone is really needing to come forward from really feeling like it was hurtful. Um, and maybe if this person approaches you, you need to do it. You need to be quite vulnerable um, and because they're already feeling vulnerable. I think you will be too as well. Like I said, I think they really want and see you as this long term partner, but they might also see you or you might be seeing them as you know, they saw themselves as the emperor and you did too. But then this situation here that's lacked their confidence, shook them, made them respond, reverse the roles if needed. But they still see you as the queen of pentacles. And the success here, moving past the old chapter where there's distance. You might be, there might be a bit of uh, guardedness at the beginning. But there's that mental clarity that comes through with communication and the reunion and again if you're single and you're bringing in a love okay there is someone coming in for you and your love life will be moving forward if you have been single for quite some time um, you need to be confident within yourself as well and know that you are also the empress so if you're if you thought you're masculine look at that if you thought i'm just gonna put this card over her if you thought you were the mas the masculine was the emperor, you need to know that you are the empress and reverse the roles if you're masculine or feminine or feminine and feminine, whatever it is, the energies. So that's what I have for you. I think I've, I've taken quite some time and exposed to other signs, but let's see. Um, so make sure you support your reading to you know keep me motivated and know that I'm getting a little thank you back. If you want to support the channel, you can do via the PayPal link, a little donation. Her impatience has come out. Well, well, we know that because the Wheel of Fortune was saying everything was stuck. And so we did see that there's been a lot of stuck and hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time to find balance. Step confidently toward the purpose and patience will bring you rewards. Beautiful. What else do we have for you? Another one has popped out. Regeneration. And that's what I feel was around your abundance, your career, where you took time to heal. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt, embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak. You're the master of regeneration. How beautiful is that? So that's what I have for you. I hope it resonated and do give this a like, subscribe and I'll see you in your next reading, beautiful souls. Take care and bye for now.